Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee. I'm the culinary arts instructor at Employment Horizons. Welcome back to my home kitchen. So I thought it'd be really fun to make a healthy snack with you guys today. We're gonna to be making these chocolate raisin energy bites. These make a fantastic addition to a healthy breakfast or a great afternoon snack because they give us energy and we all wanna feel energized throughout the day. We don't wanna feel tired, lazy, or sluggish. So these bites give us energy because they contain whole grains. We're using oats in this recipe but whole grains are a complex carbohydrate. This is just a really fancy way of saying that they're sugar, but a good sugar, a sugar that will give us long lasting energy or fuel that we need to get us through the day. If we were to have something like this Rice Krispie treat or even an energy drink or a sugary cup of coffee, yes, they will give us energy, but the energy will be used up by our body really, really quickly and we'll end up feeling tired and lethargic afterwards. So we wanna try to incorporate as many whole grains into our diet as possible so we can have that long lasting sustained energy. All right, so let's get started. I already went ahead and washed my hands. This is the most important step. All right, so we're gonna mix everything together in a large mixing bowl. We're gonna add three fourths cups of old fashioned oats, one third cup of dried fruit. I have a combination of cranberries and raisins. You can do this in any order you want. I like to add all of the dry ingredients first before we add the wet. You'll see what I mean in a minute. A third of a cup of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet. And then we're gonna do a third of a cup of peanut butter. I'm using all natural smooth peanut butter, but for this you could use chunky peanut butter, you could use almond butter, sunflower butter, whatever you have. All right, so we're gonna add that right into our bowl. I like to do that last, so my cup isn't dirty when I add the oats and the fruit. All right, we're gonna set that aside. And now we're gonna add th uh, two tablespoons of honey. A trick I like to do, I have some non-cook, non-stick cooking spray. I'm just gonna spray the inside of my tablespoon. And then when I add the honey, it will come right out like magic. So two tablespoons of honey, right to the bowl. You could also use maple syrup. You don't have to use honey or agave nectar will work great. And then this is optional. We're gonna add a pinch or one eighth teaspoon of salt. And now we're just gonna mix everything together. I need to really coat all of the oats. So another cool thing you could do with this, do the same recipe and then you would stop right here, put this onto a um, cooking sheet, bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes and then you have granola. So another fun thing you can do with this. All right, so we have it mixed together. All right, so I'm gonna grab a plate And then I have a one teaspoon um, ice cream scoop. You don't have to use this. You could freeform them or even use your tablespoon measure. I just find this is very easy. Okay. So I find it easier to dip your hands in a little bit of water. This helps all the oats and the peanut butter not to stick on your hands. So we're gonna scoop the mixture right into our hands and you're gonna press it together to form a ball. See, there's nothing on my hands. And then I have my calm, packed little energy, energy ball. So we're just gonna keep doing those. This recipe makes about 12. Um, sometimes I like to make mine a little bit larger so I get about eight. You can again make them as big or as small as you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish scooping the rest of these and then we're gonna pop them in the fridge 
for 10 to 15 minutes. You can skip this step. Um, it just allows them to kind of firm up and come together, but you are more than welcome to eat them right out of the bowl. All right, so just pop those in the fridge, and then once they come out, you have your healthy snack. All right, so I just took these energy bites out of the fridge so they're ready to be eaten. So I hope you guys try this recipe, add whatever you like to it, be creative. And also I challenge you guys to incorporate more whole grains into your diet this week. Whole grain pasta or make some pancakes with whole grain oats. Try to incorporate whole grains into your diet so you have the fuel and the energy that you need to get you through your day. So I'm gonna eat one of these, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.